is on Pendlebury, so a couple of big defenders on smaller men. And speaking of, Pendlebury wins this ground level contest to former Anzac medal winner Johnson. Momentum with the pies all of a sudden. Cloak on his own. Loose man over the top. Just had to get it to him. Orkia gives the pies the lead. Long lead from Hill. The kick didn't match the vision. And Marty Clark, one of seven magpies on the Anzac Day stage for the first time. Here's another one, Paul Medhurst. And hasn't he been a prominent busy forward for the Pies so far this year? And that's a probing ball for Medhurst again. Medhurst for his second, starts them left. They normally fade right, whatever it did, it went right through the middle. Little opening, Lloyd again. Oh, Brown was that just, passed? Yes. Brown just got a touch on it. He's been busy, Leon Davis, coming up for his seventh possession. And this time they've done it. Davis gets it home, Collingwood lead. Slattery, and he's gone. Super tackle there by Medhurst. Didak knows how to use the oh. footy, usually, and he might have done there. Thomas, curl up. Up, gets a lead from Cloak. Medhurst in the pocket, decides to honor the Cloak lead. Is he within range? Well, his best will do it. Yep. And on a day like this, only the best will do. O'Bree for Windelick. And now we'll see this handball, handball. The bowlers will be right because they turned it over. And Tyson Goldsack venturing forward. First kick is inside 50. McPhee, it'll take his best effort. Super tackle, he's short. And he's going to get rewarded, I think. Yes. He looks up and doesn't really see a lot of offer, so goes as long as he can. Davis with blistering speed as always. Willed himself onto the ball. Super effort by Leon Davis, I know. Maybe if they played on this quarter after Mark Collingwood, Essendon just eight. That's the stat that Geelong dominate with in this competition. All Collingwood here, Pendlebury. Now Medhurst rather likes these. He is freakish. He is a freak and he's kicked his third goal. Nice by their teammates. Marty Clark. Now the Magpies are on the break. First game of Wellington. Over the top. Should set up an easy goal for Lockyer. Time to steady. And drive it home for the Magpies. Here's some gold sack gives to Didak. Here go the Magpies again to Clark. Get John. Collingwood lead by 40. And Travis Cloak steers it home for his second and makes it 46. Wood, a clear win to O'Breeze to Medhurst. And he can line up for his fourth. And now Medhurst from dead in front. He kicks his fourth. And again, the Magpies lead by 46. It's Cameron Wood stamping himself on the game with a terrific man. He's done some good things in the last few minutes. Josh Fraser started the goal square on Courtney Johns. Just jogged up to the wing and got 20 metres on him. Again, it was Pendlebury delivering his 22nd disposal. This is the run again of Reece Shaw. Oh, and he's been paid that a little generously, I thought. No one runs harder than Reece Shaw, and the modern game suits him to a tee. Scott Pendlebury, goalless so far. Still goalless. Not a great oh. kick, but the one mark that is by Medhurst again. He's on fire. Have you ever seen anything like this? He does. No mistake, he has five. Collingwood's turn up. Young Brown fully committed to the contest. And look at his teammates go over and give him a pat on the back. That's a fantastic sign. But only pretty well. Because Med is for the top of his game. And Goldsack as the pies swing into action again. Would a big, long, strong target. He's getting better and better by the game. So, Big Wood. Just the five disposals for the day. He makes that one count, and the lead's back out past 50. 
agree with the odds against him here, but Lockyer came in to lend a hand. Didact to steal. The thief in the night. That's another one to the Magpies. Into the pocket, and the man of the moment, Medhurst. As single-minded as ever. Delivered beautifully. Would he have done that with the Dockers, Hunter? Huh? Probably not. Pendlebury and Medhurst trading blow for blow. Medhurst with five goals. The impossible angle. He likes it tough. The tougher the better. What a kick. He knows he's going right, doesn't he? Don't get ahead of yourself, young man. <laughs> Been a solid contributor today. Swan, Medhurst is coming again. And Stoke is there as well. And couldn't get over his teammate. Plenty of marks. That's the 11th. And this will be his third goal. Three goals for Collingwood again. Travis Cloak. Medhurst is just ducked into the pocket. And we'll wait to see after the Wellingham kick whether he's going to be in the action again. Not initially, anyway. Lockyer and Cloak, who was... She's hot, isn't he, this last term? Kicked it to Wellingham in the first place. And he's worked out the logistics in terms of kicking to kick his fourth. Armchair right there for Fraser Town to O'Brien. And into Cloak again. He's loving this. Career best <laughs> for Travis Cloak. Five big ones at the G on Anzac Day. Wellingham Davis, he's clever. He's very, very, very clever. And he's just kicked Collingwood's 23rd. Paul Midhurst, Travis Cloak and Scott Pendlebury have led the Magpies to a fantastic 73-point win. Winner of the 2008 Anzac Day medal, polled eight votes today, and it is Collingwood number seven, Paul Medhurst.